Hello everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Pearl version where we're going to continue from where we left off. So... Uh, uh, okay, I'll just switch at the beginning of this battle. Oh, let me lower the volume a little bit. Nicholas! That's the name of my girlfriend's nephew. So how's everybody doing today? You know I'm doing good. Playing some Pokemon. Playing a lot of games lately. Well, mostly just two. Um, well, actually three games if you want to be specific. Um... I've been really into this game called uh, uh, Etrian Odyssey or Etria o Odyssey. I forgot. I think it's Etrian. The original one on DS. There's like five games or, or something. But I've been playing the original one on DS to get a feel for the series. And it's a pretty awesome dungeon, dungeon crawler kind of game. Very time consuming. My girlfriend is like super annoyed that I play that game so much. But it's really, it's it's really, it really is time consuming, and I, I lose track of time when I'm playing that game because you spend most of your time grinding because it's like progressing takes such a long, six takes such a long time because how it how it works is like there's different floors of this dungeon, and as you go deeper, it feels like you just started a new game once you reach a new floor because all the all the enemies are like super overpowered. So you have to grind in the previous, like, floor until you're, like, decent enough to explore the more lower floors. And that's the name of the game. You just keep, you just grind, grind, and grind some more. But uh, I never got bored of the grinding. I mean, some games like even Pokemon can get tedious sometimes with the gr if you want to grind up to higher level, high like super high levels. But for that game, for some reason, I, I like never I'm, I'm never bored of just battling the same enemies over and over again, because uh, and you like and I and you think I would because like there's not even like great animations in that game. Hold on, while I drink some of my drink oh there we go Zubat finally learned s something kind of useful I was hoping for a wing attack but it's whatever So maybe we could battle this uh, picnic picnicker lady girl up here with Zubat. Oh, I don't know. Should I play a little? Karina. Oh, she has a piplup, huh? Is, is it going to flinch? Yeah. But the other game I've been playing was is a game called Boktai on the Game Boy Advance. Boktai, the sun in your hands. Um, there's actually three games in that series, but we only got two over here in North America. Uh, so I've been playing the first one to see how it is. When I first bought the game... I didn't know I didn't know about the solar sensor kind of thing. I just bought it because it had good reviews. Um, but uh, it's actually a really fun game. Um, I stopped playing it a, a bit because of the Etrian Odyssey. I've been I've been stuck on that game for a long time already. Okay, so let's go into the forest. 
I think there's like a companion mission kind of thing. Well, uh, hello, my name's Cheryl, and you are? Oh, so your name is Nancy. I'm I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Nancy, may I ask a big favor of you? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard that there is a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there'd be safety in numbers. Please, may I go through with you? Nancy decided to go with you with, to go with Cheryl. I'll keep your Pokemon in perfect health. Okay, cool. You're not a trainer. My Pokemon got poisoned, and now I can't battle. I knew I should have loaded up on antidotes in the Pokebart. Yeah, you should have. Oh, there's one right here. Can you give it to him? I wish I could. Oh, there's the moss stone if you wanna if you wanna level up an Eevee to be a Leafeon. I think that's what that's what I in my first playthrough of this game. Um, that's I got a leafy on when I had an Eevee. Sorry if you could hear my dogs. Here we have a double battle here. We just what? We're just out on a power walk. <laughs> okay. Hey, calm down you guys. Dogs are crying for some ah. for some reason. There's probably like another dog outside somewhere that they could see through the fence. Alright, so let's just bite the hell out of these things. Kill this Pachirisu. Come on, Chansey. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Ugh. Sorry, you guys. But as for... Uh, but... Talking again about Boktai. The game is actually really fun. The solar sensor thing is kind of uh, hard to use. Like right now it's winter, so well it's like becoming winter. So the sun isn't as strong as it would be like in summer. So I'm having a hard time like powering up my weapon and stuff like that. Because that's how the game is. You use the actual sun to uh, as like a power kind of meter to charge your to charge your your little gun your it's called soul something which is sun in spanish soul is sun in spanish but i found out through uh oh, there's a freaking truck outside i need to close that window uh hold on guys i'm gonna close that window real quick All right. Uh, it's probably it might kill. That might kill. Oh, okay. Now that'll kill. That's gonna kill Patrice. All right. So as I was saying, I found I found out on um, the internet that uh, you could actually use a black light to use as like a faux sun, so that like you'd have like the maximum amount of like sun sunlight to 
to play the game. So if I I plan on doing a let's play of it eventually, but uh, uh but I need a black light in order to pl uh, record it because the only way I know how to record a Game Boy Advance game is through my GameCube, and um and then I'd have to use I have to make some sort of rig to have the black light on the solar sensor. Because what it actually uses is UV rays. It's a, and black lights emit UV rays. Because you can't use like a light bulb or something. Those don't work. Oh crap. I wasn't paying attention. I let Zubat die. But I think this girl uh, heals your Pokemon up. So let's just use a rock throw. That should kill it in like one shot. Oh shit. Come on. There we go. Jesus. This battle took way longer than it should have. With all the, with the window opening. I mean, closing the window and my dog's barking and me not paying attention. This lady has another Pokemon. Oh, you. <laughs> Did you heal my Pokemon? I'm starting to see, uh, I'm star it's startling to see two wild Pokemon appearing at the same time. So did she heal my Pokemon? Yes, yeah, she did. Awesome. Are these psychics? I see it. I see it. I see you going down in defeat. I'm going to take another drink. When a trainer and a Pokemon bond is one, a wondrous power is born. Two Abras, huh? I we'll actually have an advantage of Zubat. Alright, that should end it. I 
All right, let's go through this tall grass. I want to battle those bug people as well. Don't really want to battle these two, so we'll just escape and battle the bug guys, bug catchers. Here comes the swarm. My senses tingle. I've spotted a rare Pokemon. You talking about me? Am I the rare Pokemon? A Burmy. Burmies are pretty cool. So that third game that I I always play is Tetris. I always play Tetris. That's not a new thing. I've been playing Tetris for like years already. On my phone. I recently bought it on the Game Boy. I played it on my computer. I just got a, a new high score today. Which is pretty cool. On um, on a Tetris N blocks. I'm nowhere near like hella good though. Like I'm not on the leaderboards or anything. I wish I was that good. But I did get a pretty solid score of 800,000. <clears> That's level uh, 53. I, I don't I don't remember how many lines I posted. I posted a score on Instagram. But people have some crazy scores on N blocks. They, uh, I've seen um, number one was two billion, which is pretty crazy. That's like, that's like a few hours of playing. Me getting eight hundred thousand took like half an hour. Quick Tune was actually the first shiny Pokemon I got in this game. I've already said that though. In the, like one of the previous episodes, well, I never really got too many shinies in Pokemon games. In general, that my first one was in Silver, where I got a I got a Gligar, a shiny Gligar. I named him Shadow because he looked like he looked like a like black instead of purple, like a dark gray. But then when I used him in Pokemon Stadium 2, he was like a blue color, and I was super disappointed. I was like, what the hell? Why is he blue? He's like dark gray in my Game Boy. <laughs> I remember in, um, in my... In Ruby, I've gotten uh, a shiny Minin, which is pretty cool. But Minin, if you've seen the shiny version of that, it's like not that big of a difference. It's like Pikachu. It's like just a slight color difference. And then in this game, this game I had the most. I had Krikatoon and I had Roselia. I, I never told you guys that I got a new job. Um, I quit my previous job. I got an I got another job, and then I quit that one after like a month because of some stupid grandma lady being super not professional and being really mean to me. So I quit. Like screw them. I'm not gonna work for people that don't respect me when I did nothing wrong. So. I quit that job after like a month and now I'm now I'm at a new job. I work for like a I'm doing like inventory control 
for for these marble this marble company shit. Zubat is dead. They make countertops and stuff. Well, not make them, but they sell them. Uh, I was about to take a drink, but I need to switch to Geodude. Geodudette. If you're curious of what I'm drinking, I made a... I invented a drink. And I think it's pretty freaking good. Okay, so... So I made a... Recently, I got, like, my sister gave me a whole bunch of beer that she didn't want anymore. So I was like, okay. I I hate beer. It's Beer's disgusting. But I recently uh, heard, learned about Shandy's, which is lemonade and beer together. So I thought that, okay, I'll make... I'll make uh, some shandies. See if th this will make that taste, the, make the beer taste better. And uh, so I looked up a recipe, uh, recipe for lemonade, like the best lemonade recipe, right? And people say to make the best lemonade, you have to make a simple syrup, which is boiling, yeah. boiling sugar and water, into like a, a liquid. And then using that to sweeten up the lemon and water. <laughs> Self-destruct. Uh, forget the move. No, I'm gonna keep my old moves. So I made the simple syrup. I made the lemonade. Well, kind of made the lemonade. I didn't really add water. I... I um I, I made I basically made like a lemon simple syrup cuz I combined I combined the simple syrup with lemon but I didn't add any extra water. So I made I pretty much made a lemon lemony simple syrup. So I tried the shandies and this st it was still disgusting. I hate beer. I hate the taste of beer. But what I do like is ciders. I do like hard ciders. So along with the beer, my sister also gave me two Angry Orchards. So I thought, huh, maybe this will be good with the lemon thing. And it actually, it really is. So there's no known recipe of hard ciders and lemonade. So I took it upon myself. I invented this drink. And I named this drink the Lemon Party. Do not Google what a lemon party is because it's disgusting. And if you do Google it, I warned you. It is very gross. The only reason why I know what a lemon party is is because there's a band called Let Live. And their second album uh, has a... When they re-released their second album, they came with some bonus tracks, and one of the bonus tracks was called Lemon Party. So yeah, that's what I'm drinking right now. We bought a, uh, Me and my girlfriend bought a case of uh, Angry Orchard. Along with some of Red's Wicked Mango drink, which is like a mango ale kind of thing. That's actually really good. It's kind of, it kind of tastes like a... I don't know if you guys had like a mango hummocks. It tastes like that, but with alcohol. And it's really good. So I recommend that, but always drink responsibly, people. Okay, is there any more people to fight? Got some honey. 
So that's the end of the end of the forest. I don't know if I battled everybody. Oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved we finally got here. I would have never been able to get through this by myself. Thank you so much, Nancy. I think you would have. You got freaking 90 million revives. A whole bunch of full heals, I'm sure. This is actually um, a haunted mansion. We might go there eventually. All right. To sit back and fish casually. It's a grown-up's hobby. I landed myself a feisty trainer. Let's go. So that's for my job again. So I, I'm like inventory control for this. For this like uh, countertop place. And let me tell you, it's freaking boring. This place, this job. I mean, I'm still looking for another job because this one is crazy boring. And I'm wasting my life. <laughs> I'm wasting my life at this job. So I want to get something more active. Something more entertaining. I mean, it's not a bad job. I, I have a lot of downtime in this job. And, um... But what sucks about it, what 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 turns me off the most about this job is my break times. Like most places, they give you a 15-minute break. This place only gives you 10 for some reason. I don't know if that's legal to give a 10-minute break, but that's what they said: 10-minute breaks. And then my lunch is half an hour, which that seems pretty normal. I'm not really complaining about the lunches. I at, at my uh, previous, not my previous, not the one before this job, but the one before that one, we used to have hour lunch breaks, and that was pretty awesome. But half hour is okay. You know, I get to watch like YouTube videos and eat my lunch and blah blah blah. My god, this guy has a full party of Magikarps. Are you kidding me? We're gonna be here all day. Man, I love playing handheld games on like a big screen. I love playing Game Boy games on my TV. I love playing Game Boy Advance on my TV. I love playing my 3DS on my computer. Without using emulation, of course. What the hell was that? There's like a flash in my room. What the fuck? Oh, some like U UFO shit right there. That was scary. It might have been my cell phone if I got like an email or something, but I think it, my cell phone makes noises when I get an email. I didn't hear nothing. Hmm. It's kind of scary.
So I just finished Donkey Kong Land, doing the Let's Play for that one. I'm really excited for to play uh, this uh, new game. I don't want to spoil what it is. Because I'm pretty sure like not a lot of people have heard of this game. Um, the only reason I found out about this game was from uh, Awesome Games Done Quick. Um, somebody ran this game. But it's, they ran it like hella in, early in the morning. So like not a lot of people saw it. So I was one of the few people that watched it. And it's a, actually a really fun game. Very short, short Famicom game. Um, I would say it probably it would probably take me four or five videos to beat, and that's just one stage each. There's only five like five levels to this game, and each le each episode would probably be like less than ten minutes, so it'll be a really quick let's play. But after that, I'm not sure what game I want to play I mean I have a whole bunch I know, I know there's, there's I have a whole bunch of games that I want to let's play but I don't know what to pick like I've already done super like I've, I've done Super Nintendo a whole bunch already I've done like I've done Tom and Jerry I've done Jurassic Park Rise of the Robots, uh, Punch, Super Punch Out. I already done a whole bunch of Super Nintendo games already. My dog's going crazy right now for some reason. Pepper, what's wrong? I don't know what the hell's wrong with her right now. She's going crazy. She just ran into my microphone. Bear! Pepper! Hold on guys, I'm gonna go see what's going on. I'm gonna turn on the light as well. Good thing I went to go investigate. My dog was eating some sort of piece of wood. I don't know where Bear finds these things, but he finds stuff to chew on all the time. I mean, I've told this story before, but when me and my girlfriend first moved into this little garage, he found a freaking mummified rat, like, <laughs> right outside our door. I don't know. He he dug it up. It's like been there for years, I'm sure. Well, it had to have been. But he's good. He's good at digging. He's good at finding stuff. How oh, bear? He's right here next to me. This crazy dog. I don't know if I ever talked about my other dog that I just got. Um. Oh, there you go. Wing attack. Finally. Forget a move. We're gonna get rid of supersonic. Because I never use that. Well, I did use it in the last episode. It was the last episode? I'm not sure. Oops, no, I did not want to switch. 
Even though I should switch, I'm pretty sure Zubat's already higher level than Geodude. But back onto the topic of what not not knowing what game to play next after the Famicom one. Cause I don't want to do Super Nintendo again. I could do N sixty four, but my controller is busted. Um, I messed up that controller somehow from playing freaking uh, Tetris on. <laughs> That magical Tetris, magical, the Disney Tetris that's on N64. I've been playing that. I was playing that game on Expert, and, and holy crap. I was like so close to beating it, but I couldn't because my stupid controller like died on me. So I need a. The two things that I need to really get to like. That I really need to get as, as like to buy for my recording is uh, I need a new N64 controller and I need a PlayStation 1 memory card. Because I didn't know this, but you need a PlayStation 1 memory card if you want to play uh, PlayStation 1 games on your PlayStation 2. Oh, is that a Pokedex? You must be helping Professor Rowan. What's your name? Okay, he hello, Nancy. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I am a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Etrina City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows, you may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Try using this, it should help you on your way. HMO1. That's, that's fly? Oh, it's cut. It will get you to places that you're previously inaccessible to you. That's important to filling out your Pokedex, right? Then luck be with you, young trainer. Alright. Okay. Did I heal? I didn't heal, huh? Oh, maybe I did. I did. What the hell am I thinking? Short term memory loss. Oh, here's the bike. I don't really want a bike. What's this place? Name rating. Okay, so here's the gym. Gardenia. We should be able to make short work of that place with Zubat. Let's talk to this uh, galactic guy. Hey you, yeah you trainer. Er, it's okay. Never mind. You look tough. I won't take. Um, I'll just let you keep your Pokemon. Carry on. So okay. There's something written on the Pokemon statue. Birth of Palk, uh, creator of parallel dimensions. Alive yet not alive, rifts in space. To arrive in the same universe, the blessing of Paul. The next is very legible and has faded completely in places. Okay. So that's enough walking around. Well, let's. Hey, you there, kids. Stay away from the Pokemon statue. Team Galactic is conducting an official investigation here. All right, so I'll end it here. Let's save. So if you guys have any suggestions of like what games I should play um, after my Famicom one, or not really game, a system that you'd want me to play. I have a few, I have, um, I have, PlayStation 2, so that involves PlayStation 1 as well. I only have two games for the PlayStation 1, though. I have uh, Elemental Gear Bolt, and I have a Final Fantasy 4 and Chrono Trigger, the compilation one. That's, those are the only two games I have, and I don't really want to do an RP another RPG, so those two games I, I kind of don't want to do, right now at least. 
Um, and I haven't played them, played through them yet, so I don't want to. I want to play through a game before I let's play it. I have a PlayStation Two. I have a PlayStation Three as well, but it doesn't play discs. But I do have two games on 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 there. I have Resident Evil Four and Saints Row the Fourth. I think the fourth one. I haven't played both of them, so <laughs> again. I don't want to play a game that I haven't already finished. Uh, I have the GameCube. I have the Game Boy Player for the GameCube, so that involves Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy. But I've already finished a Game Boy game, so I don't want to do another Game Boy game. I have a Super Nintendo, and I have a Nintendo. And I'm gonna just I'm I'm not gonna include Nintendo because I'm about to do a Famicom game, so I don't want to do another Nintendo game right after that. And I have N64. I ha I also have three a DS and three DS. So those are the systems I have. Um, I even have like a a computer game if you want. If you want to see a, me do a, the only computer game I have is um, Luxor Evolved, which is a pretty fun little casual game. But uh. Just let, if you guys want to see a specific system, even like if even suggest Super Nintendo, I might even consider doing another Let's Play of a Super Nintendo game. Yeah, so if you guys have any suggestions, just let me know. Alright, so I'll see you guys later.